Aloha everybody, Arms Inc. here. Today I have an unboxing of a brand new MacBook Pro. And I got my dog here who is convinced that he needs to inspect it first to make sure that it is safe. Let me put the knife away. Alrighty. So as you can see, Apple does their Eco, oh, sorry, is turn me packing. Ta -da. And uh, this is a 13 inch LED, and this is the uh, 7 i the i7 core processor. This is the late uh, or mid 2012 uh, MacBook Pro. I did not go with the Retina because I had heard some things about the retina and I still do use an optical to snow <laughs> oh my goodness alrighty so time to open it You know, I've noticed Apple really hasn't changed their the way the boxes look for a long time. Ooh, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Here we go. MacBook Pro comes in a nice little static, I'm guessing, prevention case. Or the plastic sheet. Peel this off. Uh, just a bit of advice for everybody: uh, if you are opening up one of these, put your dog in the other room. Ta da Just tilt it up so you can see. I'm very impressed this is gonna be a big improvement from my old my old MacBook Pro from my old MacBook. Um, it's what 2007, some 2006. Uh, Seeing better days. Already, I can just tell you, it's so much lighter compared to the old MacBook. Um, yeah. Came with a good upgrade. Let's put this down for now. And while that's booting up, let's check what else came. Got a little package here. It says. Hello. Oh, they now include the quick start guide. Do. Everything's pretty basic. If you haven't used the Mac before, um, you just kind of plug it in and get started. And it's going to go. It comes with the charger cable, and I believe that's it. Everything else you do, you do via setup. Came with a couple stickers. Clean cloth, a little insurance thing. Then when you first get your Mac, oh, sorry about that. This is to use English for the main language. Press the turn key. Press the enter. United States. Uh, English, U.S. Okay, this part I'm gonna do off to the side real quick. Basically, you're gonna select your Wi-Fi network. Yeah. 
there we go all righty so as you can see uh, now it's asking me you can also try I'm not going to use migration assistant now um, I might just start fresh and just load any files I want to or connect my Dropbox uh, okay once again I'm going to go off screen type my Apple ID the licensing agreement and like everybody else I just right uh, so it pops up with your registration info information which includes your name address your house your city zip code whatnot and I hit continue all right and so at this time it'll say create your computer account and you basically set up your account Type your name, password, uh, username you want to use, and a password hint. I usually, for my password hint, recommend doing something that is not either misspelt, uh, letters flipped, whatever uh, you want to do, but don't put your password hint so it's necessarily recognizable to everybody else. Uh, it's good to kind of make it, you know, mysterious in that way, and everybody can take realize what it is. At this time, you will be asked to take a snapshot, and uh, you know, of whatever you'd like to use. I'm, however, not going to use a snapshot of that, so I'm going to take a snapshot of myself, real quick. Okay, and then you continue with your picture. And then at this time, they're gonna show you some quick gestures that you can use. So it says to interact using multiple, this is to scroll up or down. Okay. Okay, I got it. Now why is it not? Okay, just want me to do that. It has uh, your username and uh, your password. Pardon me, your username and your picture of you, and you gotta type your password, so. Okie dokie, now we're all set up. Um, I love Apple's format. Uh, just can't beat it. Um, I don't. Also included with your MacBook Pro is the cable for the three prong or the two prong. If you live in Europe or another country, you will have different prongs. But in the US, it's three prong or two prong. Um, with the mag adapter with the little pop-up feature uh, one thing that I tried to do I clicked on the my only complaint with Apple through this whole process was I had wanted to pick it up locally and I thought I had selected that and I guess I didn't or something so I called Apple up right away it was already too late for me to say you know, I wanted to change it. It's not that it had been shipped already. It's just that they said they had no way of changing it on the computer. 
So the guy did upgrade my shipping, but at the same time, it still took three days to get here, four days to get here when I kind of need, wanted it, needed it that day for school. Uh, that was my only complaint with Apple uh, throughout this whole process, but they did try to fix it the best that they could. Um, other than that, everything's good, and I highly recommend getting the new MacBook Pro. I'm going to do another kind of update on what I think after playing around with it, but I pretty much love Apple, and I'm probably going to be a biased opinion. If you're not really a Apple person, you're going to hate it, and if you are an Apple person, you love it. So, I'm an Apple person. All right. Shoots. Allah. Mahalo.